السلام علیکم ڈاکٹر ذاکر نائک آئی ایم عمر فارق فرام بنگلہ دیش کرنٹلی لیونگ ان سنگاپور از اٹ پرمیسیبل فار می ٹو ٹیک پکچرز آف مائی فیملی ممبرز آئی ایم اویئر دا ڈرائنگ دا لیونگ از حرام بٹ واٹ اباؤٹ فوٹوگراف اور ویڈیو اے سملر کوشچن از آس بائی فہد شیخ آئی ٹی انجینئر فرام ٹورانٹو کینیڈا is photography or videography of human beings permitted if it is modest and not involving shirk as far as making images and pictures and idols and sculptures are concerned this was discussed by me in detail earlier i'm not going to repeat the full answer just in brevity it's clearly mentioned by our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's mentioned in sahih bukhari volume number Seven, hadith number 5963 that our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that if anyone who makes images Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask him to put life in those images on their day of resurrection and he will not be able to do it a similar message is repeated in say Muslim hadith number 5541 where the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that anyone who make pictures of living creatures allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask to put soul in the picture they have made on the day of resurrection and he will not be able to do it based on this hadith it's very clear cut that making pictures images or portraits or sculptures or idols of the animate things of the creatures of the animal kingdoms whether they be human beings whether they be animals whether they be birds fish insects is prohibited and this was discussed by me in detail earlier time will not permit me to repeat everything here the question specifically asked is that what about photography and videography the questioner says he knows that making images pictures hand painting sculpture is prohibited what about photography and videography as far as the fatwa with the photography clicking photograph with the camera or making video film with a video camera is permitted there are three types of opinion one group of scholars says that that photography and videography falls in the same categories as making pictures with hand or making sculptures and it is prohibited on the same level as making images paintings portraits etc the second group of scholar they say that clicking still photographs is prohibited and is the same as making pictures with hand or making sculptures but videography is permitted and the last group of scholar they say that clicking photographs and making videos is not the same as making pictures with hand or painting or sculptures and it is not prohibited we will discuss in detail regarding the arguments of these three groups in the first group we have sheikh nasruddin almani and sheikh saleh fozan what sheikh nasruddin almani says that clicking photograph with a camera or videography done with a video camera it falls 100% in the same category as making pictures with the hand or painting or sculptures and the argument is that just because you press a button with a camera doesn't mean that you aren't clicking photographs because in clicking a photograph there are many things required a person has to focus a person has to see the angle he has to draw the frame it is a lot of work to be done besides that the person who invented the camera the person who invented the camera he spent a great deal of research spent a great deal of hard work and then finally he was able to make that invention and today if someone makes a machine with when you click a button and that machine makes a idol so will you say even idol is permitted so based on this argument he says that clicking photographs and videography both are prohibited and sheikh nasir al-bani says 
that according to him there are at least 10 different steps required for a photograph to be made. The angle, the lighting, the development of the film, all these things put together, the photograph comes into existence. So the first group of scholars say that the word tasweer, which is used for photograph in Sharia and legal terms, it is the same whether you draw with your hand or you click with the camera, it is the same and all are prohibited. But naturally, this first group of scholars gives an exception that if there's a necessity, like if you want to click a photograph for your passport or for a government identity or for some documentation or if you're clicking a photograph of a criminal, you want to arrest the criminal, in these conditions, it is permitted or, or for a medical reason. Otherwise, under normal conditions, it is private. Among the second group of scholars, you have Sheikh bin Baz. And he says that clicking a photograph, that's the still photography, is prohibited and comes under the same category as making images and it is haram. But videography is permitted because it's a moving image. It is not still, therefore it's permitted and that's how you find in the haram, etc. And he says that if there are dies who come on the television and, a video, and if a video is taken of them, it is permitted. Among the third group of scholars, you have Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Saleh Utaymi and mashallah, may Allah have mercy on him, he is also a great scholar. He says that still photography and videography does not fall in the same category as making pictures with hand or images or sculptures. And when the question was asked to him, that is photography allowed, so he said clicking a photograph is not the same as making an image or picture or painting or portrait. And he gives this argument and he says that if you click a photograph of a letter, it is not the same as writing a letter. The person who is a photographer, he may not know how to read or write. He may, know, he may not know how to write, but he clicked a photograph. So he cannot say that he's written a letter. So based on this argument, clicking a photograph is not same as making an image with the hand which was prohibited in the Quran, which was prohibited in the Hadith. And furthermore, Sheikh Utaymi says that this prohibition in the Hadith in Bukhari and Muslim of making an image, that tasweer at that time of the Prophet, this camera wasn't there. So the Prophet at that time never meant, when he mentioned the word Tasweer or Musavvir, it never meant a photograph or a photographer. At that time, it meant painting with the hand or making an idol with the hand, a sculpture, etc. But did not at all include a photograph or a video or a photographer or a videographer. And furthermore, he says that if you are making a video, and if a dai comes on the television to explain the deen and now we have many people speaking all wrong things, things which are haram on the television. So if a dai comes, it's good for Islam. You can come on the television, no problem at all. It's permitted. So here we... We come to know what natural... Uh, Shikotaimi and the third group of scholars say that the photograph and the video should not be used for haram purposes. For example, it can't be used for shirk or idol worship. It should not be used for obscenity. Keeping all the other aspects of Islam and not breaking any of the rules of the Sharia. It should not be obscene, but naturally you can't have ladies coming with hair seen, etc. Whether it be photograph or whether it be a videograph. If this care is taken, then under general terms, photography and videography is permitted. But there is a care to be taken that when the ladies click photograph and if that photograph is made public, even that will come in the haram category. Because when you click photographs of ladies and Nameram are seeing it, it is not permitted. If someone takes a photograph, a lady and sees to it that it is not made public, or it is kept with her alone, or, or it is only seen by the family members who are mehram, it is permissible. But if they click photograph and make a display of it, or show it 
or give it to friends. The friends may take it home, they may show it to their family members, they may be gents, they may see it. So all this comes in the haram category. So if a lady is taking a photograph, even with hijab, the face is there, that photograph can be circulated to the naam haram, it is not permitted. So if ladies take photograph, it should be seen that besides being modest, it is kept amongst the ladies only or amongst the haram. If this care is taken, it is permissible, otherwise making it public, the photographs of the ladies is not permitted. So if the other aspects of modesty of Islam is taken care of, then photography and videography is permitted. I too agree with the third group of scholars and Sheikh Utaimi that photography is permitted as long as you don't involve shirk, obscenity and stay away from the other haram activity, it is permitted and also videography is permitted. But previously, I was of the opinion that making big billboards of dais is not permitted because that may lead to idol worship or hero worship. That is the reason in the first peace conference that we had in English in Bombay in 2007, we did, we, we had pamphlets, etc., which had the photographs of the speakers, but the billboards, we did not put any photographs because I personally felt having billboards of dyes, etc., would not be right. Unless, until next year in 2008, there were many people who told me that you didn't put, no problem, but putting is permitted. And one of my friends, we said, let's ask Sheikh Abdullah ibn Jibreel. In 2008, according to me, Sheikh Abdullah ibn Jibreel was one of the best living scholars at the time. A few years before, Sheikh Nasir al-Albani had expired in the late 90s. Sheikh bin Baz had expired, and even Sheikh Utaymi had expired in the early 2000s. So in 2008, according to me, Sheikh Abdullah ibn Jibreel, who stays in Riyadh, and, and I was close to him, and I met him several times, we asked him the fatwa. And he, he agreed with Sheikh Utaymi that photography and videography is permitted, as long as the other haram aspects of Islam are kept aside. Photography is permitted, videography is permitted, and it doesn't come into the category of images and picture making, which is prohibited by the Prophet when he says that's very salam. But he told me that if you're making, normally making billboards is wrong or making, keeping photographs of rulers in the houses is not permitted. But if you're doing for dawa purpose, for publicity, if you're making huge size photographs of dais, it is permitted and it's allowed. So after being convinced with Sheikh Abdullah ibn Jibreel that you can have photographs of dais, you know, 10 feet, 20 feet for publicity. So Alhamdulillah, from the next peace conference in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, when we invited the Imams of the Haram, uh, Sheikh Sharem, Sheikh Saud Sharem came, then Sheikh Salah Budir came, we had life size or bigger than life size, you know, 20 feet, mashallah, billboards of Sheikh Shurem and the other dais and that did attract a lot of people and you know that mashallah in our conferences mashallah more than a million people attended over a span of 10 days it was it, it was the largest Islamic English conference in the world alhamdulillah so according to me I do believe in the third group of scholars though they are different of opinion each has his argument but I believe in the third group of scholars that photography and videography if it doesn't involve any other haram activities of Islam like shirk, obscenity, it's perfectly fine. And I feel it's a good tool of dawah. And now, the talk I'm giving, it is being video recorded. And through video recorded, it's being seen live by millions of people throughout the world. And we are getting questions from Bangladesh. I'm sitting in Malaysia. We are getting questions from Bangladesh, from Pakistan, from India, from Toronto, from UK, from South Africa, all over the world. And of course, it's a benefit. And it surely doesn't come into the hadith in which the Prophet spoke about the tasweer. And in reply to Sheikh Nasr al-Albani, where he says, he's a great scholar, I love him, I respect him, I revere him. He said that if you make a machine and you press a button and if it makes an idol instantaneously, does it mean that idol is allowed? I will tell to Sheikh. Sheikh, similarly, if you make a machine where the machine paints a picture, even that machine is haram. But 
painting a picture, if you make a machine that has, has a brush and makes a painting a picture, even that is haram. But the camera is a technology. And today science tells us that in the photography, it is a reflection on a mirror which is then preserved on paper. And the Prophet, he never prevented the Sahabas to look in a mirror. The Sahabas looked into water and they combed their hair. So if looking in the mirror was haram, the Prophet would have told that. So the Sahaba looked in the mirror. So what is a photograph? Photograph is nothing but the light and the image coming in the mirror and then it is preserved in a paper. Yes, it may take 10 process, it may take 12 stages, but the Prophet never prevented anyone to look in the mirror. Otherwise, Prophet would have prevented. So I do believe in the third group of scholars and this is my argument in terms of reason and logic that photography is nothing but an image on a mirror which is later preserved. Previously a film was required, now you have digital technology, everything is digital, it is preserved, you can have it in your mobile, there is no problem at all. And today, Alhamdulillah, majority of the scholars agree that clicking photograph, keeping in the mobile, it is permitted. The large group of scholars today say it's permitted as long as there is involved shirk and obscenity. Regarding some scholars who say, like Sheikh bin Baz, may Allah have mercy on him, he said that photography is prohibited and videography is permitted. Videography is nothing but still, still photographs, 24 photographs in a second in a film, if it moves, it becomes a video. On the film, there are 24 frames in a second. In a video, there are 25 frames in a second. There are today cameras which have got 30 frames a second. We today are recording on 4K on 60 frames a second. So if you have many frames in one second when they move, it becomes a moving picture. It is nothing but still images at a speed which looks like a movie. So to say that videography is permitted and photography is not permitted, it is unscientific. Because photogra videography is a higher level of the photography. There are many photographs put together. In motion, it becomes a, a movie. So I believe this is technology. This is surely not talking about what the Prophet said in the Hadith of Bukhari and Muslim, making image with the hand. Allah will ask you to put life or will ask you to put soul. This is a technology. It's an equipment. It is a direct image coming. It is nothing that we are altering it. It's like looking into a mirror. It's only we are preserving the image onto a paper, onto a film, onto digital format. So according to me, using photographs and videograph is no problem, but Muslims should take care and especially the ladies that they should see to it that if there are video videos or photographs, it should not be made public where it may create a fitna. We should take care of that and should not be used for haram activities. Otherwise, if you use it for dawa purpose, inshallah you'll get a great deal of sawab. Imagine today, majority of the information you get is on the net and you have videos, you have photographs. If you have to say that it is not permitted, a lot of the activities have to stop.